Hello guys. In this video, we will talk about or show the ability of the Blender child constraint. I will show you guys how I did this work in Blender. The focus is how to use Blender constraints to pick up and drop off an object without adjusting the visibility property, like turning it on and off. First of all, this is how the animation of the character goes. We will now start to use constraints to make this first apple here interact with the character. This frame is the most accurate for the hand to grab the apple or the object, so let's add an object constraint. We use the child constraint in this situation. Using the child constraint on the object is like parenting the object to a particular bone of the character, ideally the right hand bone, which means wherever the hand bone goes, the object follows. But using a constraint, the attachment or influence between the bone and object can be controlled. However, you can choose to use the right palm bone if you wish, or any other bone you find fit. Click on Set Inverse to return the object back to its original position. Now, with constraint, I can control when the right hand bone as the parent of the character leaves the object as the child. So we animate according to this principle. Here, you can observe the fingers going through the object. This can be fixed by moving the object a little bit inside the palm, but that can be done later. Make sure auto record is enabled. However, if we want to drop the object into the pot, taking the influence parameter back to zero won't work. We have to bake the animation that happened from where the object was picked to the frame the object is ready to be dropped. After that, we can now position the object inside the pot. Now let's bake the animation, but we have to input the frames where the pick and ready to drop animation happened. As the baking is completed, we need to get this object to sit inside the pot and keyframe so that it will be animated from the hand to the pot. But the work is not done yet. As you can see, the apple doesn't have a relationship with the pot. It's just there. So to correct this, we have to add another child constraint to the apple to make the pot become the parent, so that anywhere the pot moves, the apple follows. The influence parameter has to be set properly as seen here. So that's for the first apple. The animation is now complete. You can apply this exact process for the rest of the fruits. And that's all for now. Don't forget to follow us for more, but if you have a video suggestion, drop it in the comment section.
Till next time, happy creating.